right here. You're in the historic Red Square in the Kremlin, and you're going to visit the tomb of the founder, of, in effect, of yeah. the communist state, Lenin. Lenin, that's right. And I was so surprised to see so many youth following us and so many fans so far from the stage. And I'm with Veronica my, wife, Veronica, my wife, and we had a real good time over here. And I was real, this would give me a lot of spirit for my next five speeches, just to realize that so many fathers and fans throughout the world waiting for the outcome. And there's the ancient and beautiful scene in the back. Those buildings, some of them are like a thousand years old. Now you're in the Institute of Physical Culture. Man, you're dying. I was eating that dessert you see there. That apple turnover was delicious. I must have gained 11 or 12 pounds on the trip. I have to work extra hard now to get the vampire. And then a little bit of a workout yeah, with some with of the a students. Couple of amateur boxers, little boy jumping around, popping in the belly. Mm -hmm. And he's real, he's real good. I was surprised. These are Russian news writers who are real enthused. They liked it. And I went to gym one day and just put the gloves on and just thought I'd get in there with one of the fellas. These are girls, Muslim girls, and some of them, is it Samarkand? Samarkand. Samarkand. This is what I meant, Muhammad, by rarely seen footage. Samarkand, a yeah, cultural these are city. These culture dances. They're doing a dance and playing a song. So and that's the way you were greeted when you got to Samarkand. Right. Which, as I was saying, is a cultural city. These buildings, you look at the Republic like, of uh, Uzbekistan. Right. These buildings are like 2,500 years old, and it was really an experience to see and imagine that people building these 2,000 years before this great country was found, they were building these buildings. Now you're visiting the Shaki Zinda tombs. Yes, these are places that were built like two or three thousand years ago where kings of the country buried their families, and we went inside and saw the actual... Well, this is one of the most fascinating things, Muhammad, I've ever seen. This is in Samarkand. It's the ancient outdoor market. It's and this beautiful. is really the fruit and vegetable beautiful, center of the whole area. Right, beautiful fruit and vegetables, some of the cheap price that people can afford to buy. And we, I mean, it's really something. These old Muslim fellas here from all over the world, that's something that was written about 3,000 years ago here. This Arabic writing was that's actually... That's the Quran, actually. Right, right. Now the Muslim imam of uh, the mosque there in Summer Camp has shown us around how uh, some explaining to us, giving us a tour about all of this, when it was built, who built it, and where and why. Well, this is in the city of Tashkent, which is the capital city. Tashkent, right. Of the Republic. That's me meeting one of the Muslim brothers there. I was so surprised to see these people because they follow very few athletes from any part of the world. Now, you prayed inside, not outside. They are inside. They pray inside and outside. The place is so many people there, and we were inside with the leader. I don't think anybody's ever seen you praying before. Right, well, this is something that's not for publicity, but we let the cameras there so you can make your show much better and give you a little prestige. Now, look at that. Council of Ministers, and you're again feasting yourself. No wonder you gained 11 oh, pounds. Oh, man, we ate everywhere over there. They don't do no drink and alcohol, so wherever you go, you have to eat. Where in America, most countries, they give you a toast or something to drink. Over there, you have to eat. If you don't eat, they're embarrassed. What are you doing there, fishing? fishing? A bunch of tadpoles, a little, little light pond, and I actually caught a few of them. I don't know if you caught it on camera, but I caught a few. Tomatoes and cucumbers, this is a lot, mainly the vegetables that serve over there in the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had a ball. What yeah. is that? A that's hotel? the hotel. Looks like something on Miami Beach, but that's in, I think, uh, Tashkent also. That's that's the Lenin's Museum there, where you go see uh, his history and films about when he was actually living. That's a monument to the earthquake that they right, had there. Right, right, right. There's a big statue there. I don't exactly know who it was and what it represented. All those new buildings date from the serious That's earthquake in Josh Kent there. back in 1966. And there is, yes, and now you visit. That was a big honor, walking in there. I really couldn't believe it. I gave him a hug and a kiss. He returned the hug and a kiss. Just a, a, a press stayed there for about 10 minutes. Then he put all the press out and he had us, to, and he gave us a good little lecture on he's glad we were there. I hope I'll come back. Oh, he's hoping to pave a nice way for the Olympics. Hope my relationship with them can help the American people. And a lot of nice things. That's his interpreter, you see, talking to him in the back. That's my wife. And it was really some honor feeling to know that he would give us 35 minutes private and actually knew me and called me by name, Muhammad Ali, and wished me luck in my next fight. It was really some feeling. I can imagine. But you don't consider yourself yet 
are the, the late uh, Secretary of State, one of them, from many years ago, or in the Vogue of Kissinger, do you? No, no, sir. I was over there as a private individual, a guest uh, of the government of Russia, but I wasn't sitting by the State Department or the Washington, but I was there. And really, it's harder to get there on your own. It's easy if Washington sends you. Okay. You know what we're going to do? Just a couple of minutes from now, we're going to show you in action against some of the Soviet Three. Olympic heavyweights. Three of the best heavyweights in Russia. Okay. We'll be back with that. Well, I'm coming in in no condition. 234 pounds, probably, or should be 250. There's the American embassy there. Some Marines waving the American flag as we had seen them. I was in no condition, eating all that apple turnover and no training, no running. But I had to do something. The people heard about me. They want to see me box. They got three of the best Russians ready. And I had to do a little bluffing and act like I'm in shape. But how I'm in no condition. But I boxed three of the best fighters in the Soviet Union. That was the first one. Fought each of them two rounds. The first one right there is Piotr Zayev. And he's a tougher. And we're going to show you in the second of the two rounds right there. Take there over again. a few jabs, a few right hands, and trying to do what I can for experience. But the guys are really tough, and a couple of them got the best of them. I landed three punches, and as you see, they're hard, and they just keep coming. Just land the hard right hand. They're hard, and they just keep coming. And I just had to go from experience and skill and natural ability. But I didn't look too bad, but still, I would have to really train if I wanted to box one of these guys for a decision and try to beat them. I really have to get in much better shape than I know. This was just an exhibition, of course, no scar, but... I want to say that I'm the first professional in the history of the Soviet Union, a communist country, about professionals not allowed to do nothing in Russia. And they charge people to come in to see this and to go to sports club, the money. But I'm the first professional ever allowed to fight a Russian amateur in anything. I've got to be honest with you, Mohammed. You are flat-footed there. You look... Huge. Also, I was shaping, and you've got a fight September 15th. Oh, how would I got 10 minutes ago? I'm in this shape. And I'm never shaped 10 minutes ago. But watch him throwing as many punches, land as many, with this young, good Russian amateur. And for my weight, no condition, no training, traveling, sleeps off, traveling, no good food, no training. I'm doing pretty good. I've got to say millions because I got two more fighters to fight after this. And the third fella is the one to beat this Stevenson. From Cuba, knocked out Stevenson and also deceived him, and I have to save that energy for that too. Well, that's true. This fellow, by the way, Zayev, is not that young. You know, in the Soviet Union, they don't turn professional in the American sense of the word, and the so their guy, fighters the old, are experienced. The oldest guy is 28, the best young compared to 36. The oldest one is 28, the ones I, I wish I was 28 again. <laughs> Impossible. As you long. see, I'm stalking him, throwing jabs, and flipping him out, and I think that's the end of that one. That's the end of that one. That was you again, sir, as he comes over, and quite a gentleman anyway, way, and tells you how much he enjoyed it. Thank you. But now you've got another toughie coming up as we look quickly at some of the dignitaries at ringside. That man, Evgeny Goskov. He He's was done a wide world a number of times. Yeah, Long arm fight, a good left. Tall, has a lot of reach. And I came out dancing, I think, the first round. Uh, this is the second round. Yeah. This is the second round. Second round. Oh, second round. I came out doing a little moving, uh, feeling it out, but I couldn't keep this up too long because I was a little tired, no condition. I'm doing a, some of the Ali stuff just for a few minutes, a few seconds, rather. And uh, he had a long, it was hard to hit. And we had no head guards on. I didn't want to get cut or hurt for the fight. I have this fight coming with streets, and it's easy to probably get a cut or a thumb in the eye or something, so I had to be extra careful. These guys have a long reach. He's throwing a lot of body punches and head punches to the body and the face. He was off and he wasn't too easy to hit. And much younger than I am. But he's and getting that uh, left in on you. Yes, which in the old days would have been impossible. No, I caught some, some of them, but not as many as I'm catching now. And it'd be impossible for him to uh, do this the night I fight Springs. I'd be so down and in such good shape. I'd be much better. Right now, I'm going to a rope group style. People in wrestling, that means boo. They don't boo with us. Boo you. Yeah, because of me just walking there and not really throwing too many punches and just taking them. But I'm in there, not them, so I do what I want to do. This kid isn't too bad. He knows how to work to the belly when he can't get through the rope-a-dope. 
But you're giving up on that rope a dope. Sphinx massacre that you're Well, I won't say what I'm gonna do. Just have to come to Superdome to see you. I'll save the surprise for you and Mrs. Banks. But we will be the first man to gain the title back for the third time. I have something to fight for now. I'll be the first man to gain it back for the third time. I promise you. I will return it. Or I shall return it. Whatever's proper. Mm -hmm. This guy's Better restudy he's still General going. McArthur. He's doing a lot of punching. He's moving. They only get too tired because I understand they trained two months for this. The hell was coming and they got in shape for it. Well, I didn't really take it serious. I was in shape. But I had to make myself do things I wouldn't condition to do. And I was really sore the next morning after this little exhibition. Well, I must say you just got a quick combination. But you're missing so much. As you did against Jimmy Young, and as you did against the sitting duck of Angelis. I mean, I miss a lot of times, Howard. The main thing I'm still on your show, I'm still here. Out of all your criticism, all of your talking, Foom is gone, Frazier's gone, Young is gone, Martin is gone. I'm still here. You know, that's, Why is that? that's a little piece of logic. I they, can't they think, they think something? I'm still here, and everybody's gone. Yeah, but you used to be so great. I used to have hair, too. <laughs> Approaching the end of this round against Evgeny Goskov. And Goskov has to be accredited as the second best Soviet heavyweight. The end of the round. Now, Ali fought two rounds against Igor Vysotsky, whom we've discussed. We'll be back with both of those rounds in a minute. Now, he's about to go against the best of the Soviet heavyweights, Igor Vysotsky, who twice was good enough to defeat Teofilo Stevenson, the heralded heavyweight of Cuba. Muhammad, take over. Well, I'm a little tired now. I understand this was the best man that saved him for last. I'm going into my rope dope style, letting him throw most of the punches because this is his first round in my fifth round. Uh, I think later on we threw a few good punches, but I'm not really in top shape and I didn't want to really take no shots at these fellas or try to hurt them because they didn't have head on them. They are amateurs. This is the first time a professional has ever been allowed to compete uh, before a crowd, or I mean, first a paid crowd in the Soviet Union, a communist country against amateur. So I didn't want to really do nothing to make him say, well, see, that professional shouldn't have fought him. He heard him. So the point just... I'd like to make, Mohammed, excuse me for just a second, is these men are really the equivalent, though, of our professionals because they don't turn professional in the American sense of the word. And yeah, so. men physically, but not experience-wise. These are really good amateurs. They never put on three rounds, but they're just older amateurs and more stronger. But they're not really experienced. And, uh, but they're good. They keep coming. Vysotsky is a very quick-handed but short-arm fighter. Very quick right, short arms and, and he hits real hard. I think I opened up a couple of times in a corner and we were looking to see when I did, but I don't I think I opened up got a few shots in. I don't hear them whistling. There he's got me in a corner. Uh, I'm watching myself. I don't want him, as I said earlier, get cut or get a cut limp or a bloody nose or uh, something because I've had this fight coming in Spinks and we got small gloves on 10 ounces, no head guards. Users, uh, exhibitions, you were a head guard, but they made this look as much like a fight as they could to make it attractive. The gloves are small and there's no head guard and it gives the people the idea that it's really a fight. So, so I had to be real careful and make sure I didn't get no cuts or bruises. Watching Vysotsky, it looked to me like he took this seriously. He wanted to... Well, they were serious. They were serious. And it's more serious than it looks. Looking at it, you can't really tell. Like being in that field... Now he's going to your midriff. And I think it was uh, this round, I didn't do too much. Just stalking him and making him throw the punches first. Get him set up to where when the second round comes. There are a couple of good jabs I landed. Now again, you're in the corner, the rope -a dope And this kid, with those quick hands, moves from go. the head uh, to the stomach. Look at there's this. There's a couple of them. The rocking is, there you go. I'm kind of I'm doing a little to him there now. And there was a good little slug out for a minute or two. He caught a few good ones, I caught a few. 
Well, you but if I had one of these guys for 10 or 12 rounds or 15 rounds, I think you could then see the professional ability come out, but they're good for two or three rounds. Okay, we'll be back with round two, Ali against Vysotsky in a moment. Ali fighting his sixth round and admittedly out of shape. Muhammad, take over. Right now, as you said, I'm out of shape. This is sixth round. I still uh, manage enough to must up enough to at least go the distance and look halfway decent with a pretty good fighter. Right now, he's throwing a lot of body punches, and my thing is to stay in front of him, don't get cut or get hurt. Mainly, just let him throw most of the punches because he's got a lot of enthusiasm. He's fresh and I'm, This is his second round, my sixth round. And I might, in the end, throw a few blows, but I'm really tired, Howard. I'm so tired now, I want to just go ahead and call it a day. But the people are there, I realize you're going to be talking, and it's going to be on your show. And I'm managing to just just go through this thing. Six or three minute rounds is enough to tire anybody, even good fighters that are young and in shape. So I'm just stalling and just letting time go by and filling them out. And after a few rounds, a few more seconds, I might try to throw one or two punches. If you keep watching, I might throw one or two quick punches. I might land one or two just to keep something happening. But that's about all. resemblance between Vysotsky and Leon Spinks. No resemblance and no resemblance between me, the way I'm going to look that night to right now. I'm not moving right now. I'm not dancing. I'm not throwing too many punches. I'm just stalling for time. This guy's got a lot of energy. And for me to try to move with him, here I might throw one or two little punches. For me to try to move with him, I'd have to move a little faster than him. And that's kind of hard to do. This is the young man here, and as I say, it's the second round in my sixth round. So I just put him right hand there. Well, you brought the place yeah. to life with that quick yeah, overhand right. There's, there's another left, there's another left. There's another one where I missed him. There's one, two, right hand just caught him. And left hook, two left hooks. One, two points, just barely got him. The American Marines are shouting Ali, Ali. In the past, this gave me a little extra energy, but they won't do too much. Of it. One, two punches caught him. The referee just won him from a button and too close, button heads. It's remarkable that you're still virtually unmarked after all the years. I must say. I'm real lucky, Howard. I got the, some people got sharp bones and sharp features, and they cut easy. I don't, Features are flat, and I don't cut too easy. I just hit him with a good left hook, left jab. He missed the right, I missed the right. We're coming to the end of your action against Vysotsky. I think you've time. characterized yourself pretty honestly. 